Welcome to the Amiga Quick Start. This is the Amiga. You know, four smart wheels controlled by the dashboard, two smart ca cameras, kitty corner. The dashboard is the manual control through the CAN bus that allows electricity to flow. It's also the mechanism by which we allow the brain autonomy to take over the Amiga. And it, it's also where the pendant is attached that, that manually controls the movement of the Amiga if you need to. There's also the e-stop. Now the e-stop should only be hit when, this is, uh, when the Amiga is on level ground because it does not, it just turns off electricity to the wheels. It doesn't break anything. So you have to be aware if you're going to stop it with a load on a hill, it's going to start rolling backwards. We're going to show you how to put the Amiga battery in. Note there's a key. There's a, there's a little tab. The, the tab will go out. That's what's going to lock the battery into the Amiga. So make sure it's down. Take the key out. Note these rails here. You're going to just slide it in on the rails. There's two of these batteries. You have to jostle it a little bit. <laughs> okay, so that slid in. And now there's a little bit of a tricky part. You want to put the key in and get that pin to lock down. And so the, hit, the hole has to align. So I'm just, you know, feeling for that alignment. Okay, so now it's locked in. Notice that it's at an angle that's the off position. And once it's there, you got to plug the battery into the robot. So it's just this simple plug in and that's how you put the batteries in. I want to show you how to turn on the Amiga now. Those switches in the batteries, they're in an angle down position. Turn them clockwise so they're parallel to the ground. Okay, both switches on and the system starts booting up. The brain often takes a little bit longer. The dashboard's up and if we go to the start screen, um, there's a button that says Vamanos or start and that's what you'll click. Before you do that, you probably want to hit the e-stop button that makes sure the robot's not going to move. Okay, and then press start and the robot's on. There's a clear stop splash screen that you have to tap to get rid of and you're ready to start the robot. So when you're booted up, this is the dashboard. Note I have the red e-stop button down. That's why you see these red kind of candy stripes on the dashboard. The dashboard's main control is the maximum speed control from zero miles an hour all the way up to about five and a half miles an hour. The other things that it shows are the battery charge. Here it's full. Uh, the average temperature of the motors and, and the state of the motors. Because we're e-stop, the motors are red. To get the whole thing started, you'll twist the e-stop clockwise. It comes up with this safety splash screen. You gotta tap it to get it off. And now we're ready to run the robot. You'll notice on the left side, these are different screens that deal with different capabilities of the dashboard. Um, there, there's a state monitor here showing the temperatures and the keys. There's a autonomy connector. This is how you'll turn on the brain later with this auto control. And then there's a settings that has a number of things that you can set on the robot. So now we're going to get the robot moving. This is the pendant. It's a magnetic stick. So you can, you know, put it down. It'll stick to anything metal. And basically we're on. We've released the e-stop. And so we're ready to go by, this is the toggle. It's like a joystick on the pendant. And by pushing it forward, the robot moves forward or back according to the maximum speed you have set. So we, we can move back or we can turn it by pressing left will turn left, right will turn right, and the speed can be controlled by how, how much, how far you press it from very slow to further. Okay, now we're going to go through the procedure to turn the robot off. 
What you want to do first is just hit the e-stop. And now you can turn the robot off by the keys on the battery. When they're on, they're parallel to the ground. You just counterclockwise rotate them, one click, and one click, and the robot's off. Finally, we're gonna show you how to take the batteries out of the robot. It's been turned off and e-stopped. Okay, the first thing is, the, the off position is, is with the key at an angle. We unplug the battery. And then you press the key in and turn it one more click counterclockwise. That pulls that locking pin up, take it out, and the battery just slides out.